Robert Peel 1841-1846 Sir Robert Peel, born on February 5, 1788, in Barry, Lancashire, was a towering figure in 19th century British politics. He hailed from a wealthy and influential family, his father being a prominent industrialist and politician. Peel's political journey began at an early age when he entered Parliament in 1809 as the Member of Parliament for Cashel, Ireland. His intelligence, charisma, and pragmatic approach to governance quickly propelled him through the ranks of the Tory party. Peel's early political career was marked by his involvement in various cabinet positions, showcasing his adeptness in matters of finance and administration. However, it was during his two non-consecutive terms as Prime Minister that he would leave an indelible mark on British politics. Serving first from 1834 to 1835 and then again from 1841 to 1846, Peel's leadership style would be tested amidst a rapidly changing political and economic landscape. The period from 1841 to 1846 was a pivotal juncture in British history. The nation was undergoing profound transformations economically, socially, and politically. The Industrial Revolution was in full swing, fundamentally altering the economic structure and labor dynamics of the country. As urbanization accelerated and industries burgeoned, traditional agrarian societies gave way to burgeoning urban centers, presenting both opportunities and challenges. Politically, the early to mid-19th century was characterized by a dynamic struggle between the Whigs and Tories, the two major political parties of the time. During this era, Britain faced significant economic hardships, including the impact of the Irish potato famine, which exacerbated social unrest. Additionally, the question of free trade versus protectionism was a central theme in political discourse, especially regarding the controversial Corn Laws. Sir Robert Peel assumed the role of Prime Minister against this backdrop of societal upheaval and economic uncertainty. His leadership during this critical period would be defined by bold policy decisions, economic reforms, and attempts to navigate the delicate balance between the demands of a changing society and the preservation of traditional values. Understanding the historical context is essential to appreciate the challenges and complexities that Peel faced during his tenure from 1841 to 1846. Sir Robert Peel's early life was marked by privilege and education. Born into a prosperous and influential family, Peel received a comprehensive education, attending Harrow School and then proceeding to Christ Church, Oxford. His upbringing instilled in him a strong sense of duty and responsibility, coupled with a deep commitment to public service. Peel's father, Sir Robert Peel Sr., was not only a successful textile manufacturer but also a member of parliament. The senior Peel's political involvement likely played a pivotal role in shaping the younger Peel's early interest in public affairs. The family's financial stability provided Peel with the freedom to pursue his intellectual and political aspirations, setting the stage for his entry into the world of politics. Robert Peel's entry into politics occurred in 1809 when he was elected as the Member of Parliament for Cashel, Ireland, at the age of 21. His early years in Parliament showcased a precocious political mind, and he quickly gained recognition for his keen intellect and oratorical skills. Peel's political principles were rooted in conservatism, emphasizing the importance of order, stability, and prudent financial management. One of Peel's early achievements was his role in the establishment of the Metropolitan Police Service in 1829. Facing rising crime rates and civil unrest, Peel's vision for an organized and professional police force earned him the nickname, the father of modern policing. This significant reform not only improved public safety but also highlighted Peel's commitment to pragmatic solutions to societal challenges. Peel's rise through the political ranks was marked by a series of appointments to key ministerial positions. He served as Chief Secretary for Ireland and later as Home Secretary, where he earned a reputation for effective governance and administrative skill. Peel's commitment to financial stability and his role in the successful management of the currency crisis in 1825 further solidified his standing within the Tory party. In 1834, Peel became the Prime Minister for the first time, leading a minority government. His tenure was marked by a commitment to fiscal responsibility, administrative reforms, and an early version of free trade policies. However, facing political challenges and opposition, Peel resigned in 1835. Despite this setback, 
Peel's resilience and continued dedication to public service would see him return to the highest office in 1841 for a more extended and transformative term as Prime Minister. The years leading up to his first term as Prime Minister were crucial in shaping Peel's political identity and laying the foundation for the impactful leadership he would demonstrate during the 1841-1846 period. As Sir Robert Peel assumed office for his second term as Prime Minister in 1841, he faced a complex and challenging political landscape. The early 1840s were characterized by a delicate balance between economic, social, and political factors. The political scene was marked by a tension between traditional Tory values and the evolving demands of a rapidly changing society. Peel's conservative government had to navigate these complexities while addressing pressing issues such as economic distress, social unrest, and the ongoing debate over protectionist trade policies. The economic climate during Peel's second term was challenging, marked by agricultural depression and industrial unrest. The Corn Laws, which imposed tariffs on imported grain to protect domestic agriculture, had long been a contentious issue. The Irish potato famine exacerbated economic difficulties and prompted Peel to confront the question of free trade versus protectionism, a dilemma that would define his premiership. Peel faced the daunting task of managing the economic fallout and devising policies that could reconcile the interests of different segments of society. The Conservative government under Peel recognized the need for bold and decisive action to address the economic challenges facing Britain. Repeal of the Corn Laws One of the most significant and controversial decisions of Peel's tenure was the repeal of the Corn Laws in 1846. Despite opposition from within his own party, Peel recognized the necessity of embracing free trade principles to alleviate food shortages, reduce prices, and stimulate economic growth. The repeal marked a departure from traditional Tory protectionism and underscored Peel's commitment to pragmatic solutions. Fiscal reforms and financial management Peel's economic policies extended beyond the Corn Laws. His government implemented fiscal reforms aimed at reducing tariffs and promoting free trade. Additionally, Peel prioritized sound financial management, emphasizing budgetary discipline and responsible economic governance. His commitment to financial stability resonated with his earlier achievements, including the successful resolution of the currency crisis in 1825. Creation of the Metropolitan Police Service Peel's influence on law enforcement extended beyond his earlier years. During his second term, he continued his commitment to public safety with the creation of the Metropolitan Police Service in 1829. The establishment of this modern and professional police force was a response to rising crime rates and civil unrest, reflecting Peel's belief in the importance of organized law enforcement for maintaining social order. Criminal law reforms and the establishment of the Irish Constabulary Peel's commitment to law and order was further demonstrated through criminal law reforms. The government introduced measures to enhance the efficiency and fairness of the legal system. In Ireland, Peel played a crucial role in the establishment of the Irish Constabulary, a police force designed to address specific challenges in the Irish context. Sir Robert Peel's approach to international relations during his second term as Prime Minister from 1841 to 1846 was characterized by a combination of pragmatism, diplomatic skill, and a commitment to maintaining stability. Peel's foreign policy was deeply rooted in the understanding that Britain's global standing and economic interests were intricately linked to the broader geopolitical landscape. Peel recognized the importance of balance and diplomacy in international affairs. His approach was not driven by ideological fervor but rather by a calculated assessment of Britain's strategic interests and the need to navigate the complex relationships between European powers. At the core of Peel's foreign policy was a commitment to maintaining a secure and stable environment for British trade and global influence. Anglo-French relations Peel faced the ongoing challenge of managing relations with France, a key European power. The period saw diplomatic tensions, but Peel worked to foster a pragmatic relationship with the French government. The resolution of various disputes and conflicts paved the way for improved Anglo-French relations during this time. Opium War and Relations with China Peel's government faced the diplomatic challenge posed by the Opium War between China and Britain. The conflict had significant economic implications, particularly related to the opium trade. Peel's administration navigated this complex situation, 
seeking to protect British economic interests while also engaging in diplomatic efforts to resolve the tensions with China. Colonial Expansion and Imperial Policies The mid-19th century was a period of imperial expansion, and Peel's government had to grapple with issues related to colonial territories and the balance of power globally. Managing relations with the British colonies, addressing territorial disputes, and ensuring the security of overseas assets were key components of Peel's foreign policy agenda. Peel's commitment to maintaining stability and peace on the global stage was evident in his efforts to prevent and resolve conflicts through diplomatic means. While recognizing the importance of safeguarding British interests, Peel understood the potential repercussions of international instability on trade, economic prosperity, and overall geopolitical balance. The Prime Minister's role in mediating and diplomatically addressing conflicts contributed to a period of relative stability in British foreign relations during his tenure. Peel's emphasis on diplomatic solutions and negotiations, rather than military intervention, reflected a pragmatic and forward-thinking approach to international affairs. Sir Robert Peel's second term as Prime Minister came to an abrupt end due to internal conflicts and dissent within his own party, the Conservatives. The primary source of discontent was Peel's decision to pursue the repeal of the Corn Laws, a move that was met with strong resistance from protectionist factions within the Conservative Party. Traditional Tories, who championed protectionist policies to safeguard agricultural interests, vehemently opposed the repeal. The party was deeply divided between those who supported Peel's free trade agenda and those who were staunchly protectionist. This internal strife created a hostile environment, with key figures within the conservative ranks openly challenging Peel's leadership. The dissension within the party not only reflected ideological differences but also exposed deeper fractures related to questions of leadership and loyalty. Peel's pragmatic approach, while aligned with the changing economic landscape, was at odds with the more traditionalist views of some influential party members. The controversy surrounding the repeal of the Corn Laws was a central factor in Peel's fall from power. The Corn Laws imposed tariffs on imported grain to protect domestic agriculture. Peel, recognizing the economic necessity of embracing free trade principles, advocated for the repeal despite the opposition from within his own party. The protectionist faction saw the repeal as a betrayal of conservative principles, arguing that it would harm British farmers and rural communities. Peel, however, believed that the repeal was essential to address the economic challenges facing the nation, including food shortages and rising prices. The ensuing debates in Parliament were intense and emotionally charged, revealing the deep-seated divisions within the Conservative Party. Peel's determination to prioritize the broader economic interests of the nation over party loyalty led to a profound rupture within the conservative ranks. The controversy over the Corn Laws symbolized a shift in economic policy and ideology that would have lasting implications for the conservative party. In June 1846, facing considerable resistance and opposition from within his own party, Peel made the momentous decision to resign as prime minister. His resignation marked the end of an era and had a profound impact on the Conservative Party. Peel's departure left the Conservative Party in disarray. The internal divisions and animosities that had been simmering throughout his second term now came to the forefront. The party struggled to reconcile the conflicting ideologies of protectionism and free trade, and efforts to find a suitable successor proved challenging. The split within the Conservative Party persisted for several years, hindering its ability to effectively counter the political ascendancy of the Liberal Party. The fallout from Peel's resignation led to a period of opposition and internal restructuring within the Conservative Party as it sought to redefine its identity and policy positions. Sir Robert Peel's legacy is indelibly marked by the long-term impact of his economic and social policies. His leadership during the mid-19th century laid the groundwork for a modern and economically vibrant Britain. The repeal of the Corn Laws, despite the controversy it stirred, set the stage for a shift towards free trade principles that would define British economic policy for decades. Free Trade and Economic Liberalization Peel's decision to repeal the Corn Laws demonstrated a commitment to economic liberalization. The move towards free trade had a profound and lasting impact on the British economy. By removing protectionist barriers, Peel contributed to the growth of international trade, increased market competition, and the expansion of industrial and commercial activities. Fiscal Responsibility P. 
Peel's emphasis on fiscal responsibility and sound financial management also left a lasting imprint. His commitment to balanced budgets and prudent economic governance set a precedent for responsible fiscal policies. This legacy resonated in subsequent administrations, influencing the way governments approached economic planning and financial management. Police and criminal justice reforms, Peel's contributions to law enforcement, including the creation of the Metropolitan Police Service and criminal law reforms, established a framework for modern policing. His pragmatic approach to maintaining public order and preventing crime became a model for subsequent developments in criminal justice systems not only in Britain but around the world. Pragmatism and Flexibility Peel's leadership style was characterized by pragmatism and a willingness to adapt to changing circumstances. His ability to navigate complex political landscapes and make decisions based on the needs of the moment rather than rigid ideological principles demonstrated his effectiveness as a leader. Commitment to Public Service Peel's commitment to public service was evident throughout his career. His early entry into politics, the establishment of the Metropolitan Police Service, and his pursuit of economic reforms reflected a dedication to addressing the evolving needs of society. Peel's focus on the greater good, even when faced with internal party dissent, showcased a leadership style driven by a sense of responsibility. Reconciliation of traditional and progressive values Peel's leadership was marked by a delicate balance between traditional conservative values and a recognition of the need for progressive reforms. While he faced criticism from both sides for his pragmatic approach, this ability to reconcile seemingly opposing ideologies allowed Peel to implement transformative policies while maintaining a degree of continuity with the past. Impact on conservative and liberal parties The split within the conservative party following Peel's resignation highlighted the challenges of ideological shifts. However, the principles of free trade and economic liberalism that Peel championed continued to resonate within the party. Additionally, elements of Peel's approach were absorbed by the emerging Liberal Party, contributing to the development of liberal economic policies. International influence. Peel's policies had international ramifications. His commitment to free trade principles set an example for other nations, influencing economic policies in Europe and beyond. The principles he advocated contributed to the broader shift towards globalization and interconnected economies. Continued relevance in policymaking. Peel's emphasis on evidence-based policymaking and the prioritization of the national interest over party loyalty left a lasting legacy. Subsequent leaders looked to Peel's example when navigating complex political and economic challenges, emphasizing the importance of adaptability and pragmatic decision-making. In conclusion, Sir Robert Peel's leadership during the years 1841 to 1846 was a defining chapter in British political history. His contributions, challenges, and legacy collectively underscore the transformative impact of his policies and the enduring relevance of his pragmatic approach to governance. Peel's legacy continues to shape discussions on economic policy, law enforcement, and effective leadership in the context of evolving societal needs. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.